Hello, and welcome back to the Talos Principle. Unfortunately, bad news. For some reason, it seems like my PC is dying again. Really, like, comes in weird waves throughout this series. We've seen so many, like, deteriorations of my PC. I don't know what's happening. It's just the last couple of episodes had some pretty major, like, freezes and frame skips that are really annoying. And, well, I don't know what else to do but slightly tweak the recording settings and the game settings and make things a little worse and hope for the best. So hopefully it doesn't get too bad. But anyway, since last time I, I had an idea, but then thought about it a bit more. I looked in editing as well, and I, I don't think it's going to work. I was just thinking that maybe this cage is ac actually the laser that we're going to be using for the red thing over there, just that we would have to like place a connector up here to begin with, which we could do, and we might as well test it, but I'm pretty sure this won't work, because I think this will be out of line of sight, but let's just test it. So we just go up here, yeah, and then we would go all the way up here, and like I guess I would be, was it over there? Is that the level? Because yeah, I, I don't think you can have line of sight anywhere this low. Like, I would link this up, and you can't even really connect this one. It has to be, like, here. Yeah, that's that's gonna be a rough one. That's not happening. Definitely not. Yeah, it's too far down, but... Let's just place it there. Very much doubt that's anything. Also, wait, we didn't have any, uh... Any, uh, reading left to do, did we? Oh, yeah, I did notice this for some reason. When you load in, the keys are now... It is blinking, yeah. Okay, so there's new stuff to read. Didn't I read everything? I guess because I've already... Right, right, of course. Yeah, I solved the last level. Now we can read more after uh, saving... Nave. Yeah, Nave. So, for some reason, this is, like, just placed here instead of up there. But I don't know exactly why, because it's not like you need to go in here ever again. You don't need to pull this lever again. You can't do anything here as far as I know, so... Kind of strange that that teleports there, and this gate remains open, so yeah, it wouldn't really do anything. Very strange. But yeah, okay, let's go back all the way over here, and yeah, totally forgot. I guess we're doing some reading. So we should be able to go here, yeah. Yeah, have to think about this, but we can wait. And uh, what did Nave do to pass the time? Anything? Like, we have these lined up rocks. Is this anything? There's not really much of note. Who's lying down a lot on this slab, maybe? Doesn't look like there's anything distinctly like, oh, Knave was having fun while being trapped. It's just like this area, but... Yeah, it's just one line of rocks, and that's kind of it. You would have thought he would, like, have scraped the walls or something, or... I don't know. Yeah, can't really see anything. He put the paint on the computer. I mean, maybe not ideal, but that's better than putting just bare candles on it, so props for that, Knave. Threads available. Here we go. What are cats? Good question. Worst puzzle. And a short experience by Knave. Okay, short experience. No, file corrupted! Restore. Ah, It's gonna be all, like, hexadecimal now? Why would it be corrupted when he just read it, right? Huh. Close your eyes. You are in a small room with no lasers. This is an office room. There is a computer here. Analyze the computer. Interface with the computer. What's just interface? You are momentarily taken aback when your fleshy fingers stab at the keyboard with human imprecision. Those aren't mechanical object manipulators, they're hands! You notice the logo is gone from the screen and replaced by rows of incomprehensible code. It appears to be some kind of fiendish puzzle. Is this what the other one was, like 401 or something, bitching about this being a terrible puzzle? Extrapolate X and take the standard deviation. Uh, color code the chart according to department. Randomly mash the keys. Let's randomly mash them. 
You do your best, but this world is alien to you, and your fingers are unruly. A human being enters the room. It looks at you with angry eyes, makes loud noises, and waves a handful of papers at you, which are like emails, but made of tree. Sorrow rises in your chest. You have been a bad human. Ignore the sorrow and solve the puzzle. Ignore the sorrow and explore the area. Focus on the sorrow. Let's explore the area. You need more information about your surroundings. You try to walk, but unlike mechanized limbs, these unnecessarily fleshy appendages beneath you appear to not be under your direct control, and you realize that the sorrow has overcome you and that your eyes have decided to leak. To be continued. That's it. Worst puzzle. Uh... Wait, where is it? Oh no, was that a one-time thing? Yeah, nope, it, it's not here. I guess that was because it was corrupted. We only got it, like, once. We, we loaded the corrupt file, but then it was, like, removed because it was corrupted. Well, in this case... Did it just... Did it just save? I don't know if it just saved. I was gonna say, in this case, I wouldn't mind resetting because, you know, we're not altering any real results. I just want to see, like, what else that has to, to offer. Nope. It saved. Well, damn. Okay. Is there any way... I guess, can I use the console? Can can you, like, restart or something? Like, reset? Nil. Restart. I don't know. Quit, uh, quit would probably just quit the game. Nope. I don't... It's screaming at me. I don't know what's wrong. Console. Uh, I guess let me know if there's a way to just, like... Quit to menu without pressing the escape key, because sometimes that just makes the, the game save, and I don't want that. I don't want to save the game. I want to quit the game. I'm just testing all the, like, F keys. Oh! Wait. F10 opens the menu. Okay, so we can we can do that. Never mind. No console needed. So sometimes I'll just want to do that. I'll want to F10 and then uh, reset checkpoint. Then it doesn't save. Well... I could load my actual backup and do this again, but I guess it doesn't matter. We're gonna test a bunch of stuff later on anyway. So for now, let's just move on and read Worst Puzzle. Lamb, what was the puzzle or challenge, if you prefer the old word, that you hated the most? Oh, I thought they were gonna talk about the thing that Nave just wrote. 401, anything time-based. Ah, Frankenstein. Well, we can speed up time, so it's fine. One's got stuck for ages trying to solve one using a jammer that I didn't even need. I just don't understand why Elohim would create something so messy. Knave. I liked all the puzzles. I just wasn't good at them. Belial. They're not puzzles if you don't care about solving them. Mac. For me, it was mines. Can't stand those things. Yeah, I can't remember what I would consider the, like, worst puzzle. I mean, I, I know which ones I had the hardest time with, but I don't think those are bad puzzles. But there there were a couple that were kind of like janky, especially, yeah, with the mines, like the one where you had to go past an entire mine corridor, just corridor full of mines. There were like two different ones of that, that nature and things like that that just end up being kind of tedious and pretty wonky and like the mines are hard to understand the range of and stuff. I don't remember if there were, were any other puzzles that just felt like off to me. Maybe. Maybe there were. You probably know better than me at this point. And we can't... we can't relate to our own experiences. So, what are cats? Knave. I'm sorry if this is another stupid question, but what are cats? They're mentioned a lot in the archive documents and even in some stories, and I have no idea what they are. Dog. I don't know, but I bet they were awful. 401. LOL! Knave. What? Frankenstein. They were a type of pet knave, small animals that people kept as companions or as food. Mr. Mulciber. Cats seem to have represented a bit more than that to our ancestors. One might go so far as to say they were obsessed with them. What's strange about this is that more than half of the references I can find to the species describe them as arrogant, aloof, and frequently quite destructive. At the same time, they were apparently considered funny, cute, and lovable. Cats were considered both foolish and devious, graceful and goofy, a nuance, and a comfort. For a long time I was baffled by this contradiction, but I've come to believe that our ancestors saw in cats a reflection of the paradoxical nature of their own existence. Garrett. I saw a cat in Elohim's world once. Really, this is not a joke. 
Yeah, I did as well. Garrett is a secret hunter, I suppose. He found the, the floppy disk. Oh, or he just found the cat, I guess. The cat secret, yeah. That was a thing. No way, says Kaiju. Confirm the cat's existence. Deny the cat's existence. Well, we have to confirm it, but again, I guess later down the line I might deny it. The cat is a manif manifestation of the accumulated knowledge in the archive, breathed into life by Elohim. It exists. Garrett, I knew it! I knew I wasn't crazy! Thank you. Glad to help, Garrett. There we go. And Nave doesn't, like, tell anyone that he's now free. He just goes on to write more short stories that get corrupted and get deleted, sadly. So yeah, we'll leave this puzzle behind for now and go over here and just try and solve another one, I suppose. Anything going on here? Yeah, what is this? Nothing much, I guess. Kind of seems like you would be able to do something here, like if we found a shovel or something, we could maybe dig there? But I, I doubt it. And we can't jump up, can we? Doesn't seem like there would be anything up here regardless, so... Alright, never mind. Okay, enough jumping around. This one looks, well, maybe more complicated, but fans, boxes, and connectors, those aren't super complicated things. I mean, they can be, but bunny hop. It doesn't look too scary when that's all a puzzle pass. So yeah, we have this, and they are going to the right ones, so we can just pick these boxes up, yeah? So that turns on that, yeah. And then this does the same. Ah. Okay. So we can take this now. Oh, wait. Oh, I guess they've uh, they thought about this. They made sure you can't take this. There's no place that has like slightly higher elevation or lower. I might be able to. Hold on. Let's like place it right here. Eh, probably not. I guess they thought about that. Yeah, I don't know if we could somehow get a box up here. I did see something relating to, like, some other secret from, from the main game or something. That some people would, like, grab things through stuff like this. Let me see if you can do that. Like, right here... Yeah, exactly, that kind of thing. Okay, hold on, we got something. We got something here. So I can jump up with this. Yeah, I think, I think it was, I saw like the, the tower, that one floor that had like the fans, the, the first time I figured out that you could put a, uh, a box that would get blown in under you and lift you up. In that puzzle, I, for some reason, I don't remember why, but I saw like a speed run of that. Right, yeah, because someone was talking about there's like a speedrun trick involving boxes that I can't really do very well, but you like, you want to, uh, oh, what was it? You want to like, press escape, then hold space, and then let go of escape, and you'll like, sometimes, depending on, I, this is what I don't know, depending on the like, terrain, you will sometimes slide instead of jump towards it, but again... Uh, I don't know what causes that to happen, if there's some spe special, like, thing you have to do, I have no idea. But you can start sliding into it, and then, like, you pause, and then after, like, half a second, you teleport on top of the box. If you then grab the box right, like, a couple frames within you grabbing, you jumping onto the box, you can basically 
pick up the box and it'll bring you up and then bring the box up and bring you up and bring the box up and basically just launch you into the sky so you can like do box jumps or something they were called I think or I don't remember exactly but yeah I was researching that because it was kind of fun and I haven't worked out anything consistent with that so I mean if you know anything about Talos principle speedrunning then feel free to explain that to me because I don't know like what conditions you have to do to get it I specifically got it in uh, the pigeon what was it called carrier pigeon there I managed to do it and that was fun we could take a look at that should I do that? Just... Okay. Let's let's just do it. We might as well. We're right here. We can just, like, load the base game because I am right in Carrier Pigeon. That's why I was here. I was, like, practicing this. So, if we just go in here and grab one of these... I think I did it specifically on top of here. I couldn't do it down, down below, but here I was able to. Or maybe I was over there or something. And I did this thing. You can see there. There's the slide. Why is it sliding here and not in the other place? If I put it down here, it will not slide. And I don't know why. I don't understand that. And it seems like you need that slide for the trick to work. So then after that, it's just timing. It's just, I will continuously hold space. And then right before I teleport, I have to grab the box. And that's very hard. So I probably won't be able to do it. But let's try it a couple times. Should probably, you can also just like stand right next to it. So, uh. Let's see, I'll probably cut after a bit. There it is! I, uh, I just remembered that I was set to 120 frames per second, and you basically can't do the trick at that point. You have to be at 60 or 30. Apparently, 30 has, like, a wider window, but you don't go as far or as high. But 60 is, like, the most consistent. But, I mean, I, I play on 120 because it just looks much nicer for me. Even though it probably doesn't make any difference in the videos. But there you go, that's a box jump. I don't know how to do it consistently at all. And why it seemingly only works on, like, certain certain floors and stuff. If there's someone that can inform me about that. And there's also stuff about, like, if you lean the box in a certain way. Like, if we place this... Oh, come on like that or something, then now it'll shoot off like in a different direction or different trajectory. I don't remember exactly how it works, but you can like slightly lean it in order to angle the jump, the subsequent jump that you'll get. But again, no clue how it really works. It would be really fun to get down consistently. So I might need some tips if anyone knows about like speedrunning tricks, because I tried to look into it. I tried to search and like, I couldn't really find any great examples, any great, like, tutorial. There was one person talking about, like, doing a specific variation of a box jump, and I learned quite a bit from that, but I didn't really figure out, like, this stuff, the basic stuff, like, why doesn't, doesn't it work in some situations, and what do you need for it to work, and all of that, so, I don't know, it was, it was a bit confusing. Not that I'm gonna start speedrunning the game or anything, but I just think those types of glitches are really, really interesting. So, for now, let's try this again. So I'll just place this here. This one right here. And we can probably get out of bounds here. Not that it's particularly hard to get out of bounds in this level, so we probably don't need to do this, but let's test it anyway. Wait, this isn't even gonna do anything. What am I thinking? Why would I... Wait, maybe... If I can stand here, doesn't seem like you can. Ah, uh, wait, hold on. I can do maybe this, where I like place this slightly lower, and then I should be able to jump up on it, maybe. Maybe it needs to be even lower. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so can we place it like... One step down, that's probably not going to work. No, that's just going to start rolling. Well, I guess this doesn't matter then. Uh, I think we might be able to do... This kind of thing again. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know how this works. I think you can... You can do that, or maybe not. Maybe that's only when you have one box. I don't know. Okay, whatever. Enough fucking around. 
probably don't even have time to solve the puzzle today, but we can at least get up here and I suppose take the uh, the connector. But what are we doing with the connector anyway? These just go in here. I, I guess, am I just like breaking one? Just hooking this up here? Just so that if I break this line... Ah! Uh, if I place this here... Ah! Hmm. A bunny hop. I see. Yeah. So somehow we need these to be inactive, and then suddenly this turns on, and both of these go off. How do we make that happen? If I block both, how long does it take to, like, get back on? That would work. That doesn't... Hmm. Well, here's one of those that maybe might feel a bit weird. Because, like, yeah, I can, I can do this, but is this really what you're meant to do? Just jump up here, grab that. Now that turns on, so I can just... Oh, thanks. I should be able to just put it there? Yeah, I, I don't know. That that seems super wonky. I don't think that's the solution. But what else are you supposed to do? Maybe you're supposed to, like, place the connector so that it blocks one of them or something, but... I don't know how that would help. Yeah, I guess this can always stay on. Hold on, let me experiment with this, because, yeah, I think, I think I'm doing this wrong. So, we push this off, and let's go up here and take this again. And we can just, like, place this here, just to block it. And then we connect this up to here. No, this isn't really going to work either. Hmm. Yeah, something feels off about this. And, like, why would there be a little thing here? It seems like you're supposed to... Wow, like, this is, this is glued onto here. Why would we place this here? What would that do? It seems like this wants to be placed here, or maybe that's just, like, a box would also do that? Yeah, but... Oh, man, what is happening here? How would we bunny hop? And what's the point of the connector? Yeah, I, I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna solve it the way that I did it, even though I, I feel like something is off here. This doesn't feel like the way you're intended to do it. I guess we can just grab this right away. I mean, like, that's not too unreasonable. That's not really difficult. It's just this part is a bit wonky. Like that, I'm not sure that feels right, but let's take it. I'll settle for that. Hey, it's 401. He probably left some, like, hate mail to leave it all off. Final flame session. All right, well, I guess we're going to leave it there, and then we'll do some 401 reading next time. And then uh, maybe we can take the laser from here. This might be the place where we can use the laser. Because we could probably place the connector on top of the box. Yeah, okay, I have an idea for this. So we'll see about the, the star next time if that's possible. But otherwise, I'll just get into the fourth level. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.